dark web, the most mysterious and dangerous place to go on the internet. In the digital world, only 1% of people know about it. It's like a secret online world, and you can buy and sell things without anyone knowing who you are. Clicking on something there can take you to interesting or dangerous places. Some of the stories that have gone public have been stored forever in people's minds. Let's start these horror stories. Let's begin with the first story. It's titled, My Name is Darius. To access the eDark app, a separate browser called Tor is needed, which conceals your identity. Even after activating a VPN, Darius starts exploring the dark web. As he begins browsing, he discovers information about credit cards, salaries, and tricks. After witnessing all this, Darius sees something mysterious in front of him. It reads, Wanted Surprise. He clicks on this link, and a video starts playing, a live stream in a completely dark room. Below the live screen, there is a chat box where the admin writes, Let the game begin. Then, a man enters, dragging a girl and making her sit on a chair. He mentions that the live stream is for torturing the girl, and for every reversal that occurs, they offer $500 in Bitcoin. After watching all this, Darius gets scared, attempts to close the live stream, and upon closing it, he sees a note saying, Leaving so soon, Darius. After witnessing all this, Darius becomes so frightened that he closes the entire browser. A few days after this incident, he realizes that his phone has been hacked and his room is filled with cameras. After some days, the strange thing is that someone enters his house and his gate is open. From this, he deduces that hackers have reached his house and after that incident, there is no wonder what happened or where he is. The next story is about three friends. They say that people were feeling bored, so they went to the track and joined a chat box, but the situation gets twisted when a guy messages her and very lovingly asks, Hi, how are you? And this is very unplanned on the dark web. Someone is politely asking you about your well-being, and after seeing this, they reply, Hi, I am fine. After seeing the reply, the three friends get totally scared because their reply comes, Hi, I am fine. Have you seen Alice, who was the name of Mark's girlfriend? And the scary part is that he had not seen the her for the last two months. She had gone missing. The three friends ask for the address. Where are you? How is she? And then the stranger replies, She is a very nice girl, and I took her, and I take care of her. After hearing all this, Mark gets very angry, and the person says, if you want her come to this address, if you do not, you will never see her again. Until now, nobody knows that they went there or what happened. This story is about a 20-year-old girl who used to do a part-time job as a cleaner at a school. She was working regularly, but a day comes when she sees that the light in the classroom is on. When she goes inside and keeps watching, the lamp is lit and some website is open on the screen which looks very strange. The girl gets scared due to all this, but then she turns off the lamp and starts leaving. Suddenly a man comes and asks the girl what she is doing there, and when they talk, it turns out that the man is a teacher inside the school. As the girl starts to leave, the teacher stops the girl and asks if she can help him because he is celebrating the tuition so that he can decide something extra. He just had to help the girl for the class or give her the information. The form had to be filled out, and the teacher helped her, and after seeing her personal information, the girl helped. At that time, the girl left from there. But the strange thing is that the teacher started seeing the girl every day, and she felt very bad about it. He used to smile strangely and look at her in a strange way, and due to all these things, the girl started becoming uncomfortable. It was happening regularly, but after a few weeks, the teacher started appearing less and less on the set, and then after a few days, the girl was hanging out with her friends, and one of the friends told the girl that she needed to talk to you very urgently. Can you come to the second side, where the boy opens the top and inside it is open on the dip, and he shows the girl that you have been put on a gambling option and all your private information is available here. 
And after seeing all this, the girl gets very scared. And suddenly she remembers that a teacher had asked for information like this. I had taken all the information, the exact thing is available here. The girl did not delay again. She went straight to the police and they started investigating that teacher. The police found a very strange website on that teacher's computer. Along with this, personal data of many girls was also found. And after investigation, the police found some strange machines at the house of the teacher. Warden's contraption was found, and after seeing this, the teacher was caught. And that is why I want to tell you this. Never share your personal information with someone. Do not put it on a website or give it to any stranger. The cost of data here is very high. Before we go, make sure to hit the like button and never forget to subscribe. There is a very big story in the history of the dark web, and it is called 10 Silk Road. This website was made like Amazon, but here we used to get everything illegally. Whatever you could think of, cigarette card information, drugs, weapons, everything was available here. And this website was created by Ross William Ginger. Roshni designed this website in such a way that you can buy anything here. You just have to give Bitcoin, and this is the biggest digital black market. This website had become so big that it was noticed by the FBI in 2013, and then it was shut down by the FBI in 2015. Well, Rosh was caught, and he was also sent to jail. Roshni was sentenced to life imprisonment and is still in jail today. In the third mind-blowing session, you will find out the number because at that time, the FBI told you that one author, Charles Bitcoin, had been caught, whose value at that time was Ari's 250 crore, and the value of those Bitcoins can be converted to today's time. If we go by, it comes to around 616 crores. These numbers were very big. In the end, I would like to request that you please don't ever doubt that this is not the case only. These stories have just come to light and there will be so many stories that have not even come to light. Never ever try to enter the dark web. It's very dangerous. Until then, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's meet in the next video. Bye.